Hello, I'm your Chitanini. Would you like to listen to a story about the cap seller and the monkey? Well, this is how the story goes. Balu was a cap seller. He sold caps of all colors and shapes. Once, after a long day of selling caps, he fell asleep under a tree. <clears throat> A naughty monkey who lived on the tree saw all the colorful caps. He saw how Boalu wore one of those on his head. He quietly got down from the tree and took away a number of caps. Sitting on the tree, he put the caps on his head. Balu woke up and found that a monkey had taken most of his caps up the tree. He said, Oh, dear monkey, can you please return my caps? The monkey laughed and said, Finders, keepers, finders, keepers. Balu thought for a moment about how to get his caps back. He understood that the monkey was just repeating whatever he was doing. He threw his cap down. Voila! The monkey also threw down the caps he had. Balu took his caps and returned home happily. Oh wait! The story doesn't end here. Many, many years later, Balu's son Yash, who also sold caps, slept under the same tree. Sure enough, a monkey came down and took all his caps away. Yash remembered the story that his father had told him many years ago. He said to himself, Aha! If I throw my cap down, the monkey might do the same too. I shall get my caps back. He threw the cap down and waited for the monkey to throw down the caps. The monkey laughed out aloud. He, he said, Oh, human, your father told you a story about how he got his caps back. Ahem, my father also told me the same story, but asked me not to throw the caps back. Finders, keepers, finders, keepers. Yash was upset that his plan to get the caps back had failed. He decided he'd come back another day with a new plan to get his caps back. He also knew that the monkey had taken what was not his. Therefore, he'd surely get his caps back. Now, that is another story for another day, another time. Two lessons that we can all take from this story. One, it is wrong to take what is not yours. Two, if plan A doesn't work, there can always be a plan B.